गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग कुछ शो क्यों नहीं हो रहा है ओके okay. तो अभी शो हो रहा है आवाज आ रही है मेरी क्या मेरी आवाज आ पा रही है ओके ठीक है तो हम लोग कुछ और प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर रहे थे लास्ट लेक्चर में और एक दो प्रॉब्लम्स मैंने तुम्हें असाइनमेंट दी थी सो वट वर बी डूइंग वी वर सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर एंड आई गिवन सम प्रॉब्लम्स टू प्रॉब्लम्स इन द असाइनमेंट राइट सो दोज वर अटेंडिंग माई लेक्चर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम एम टेक फ्रॉम आई बॉम्बे एंड लेट मी चेंज द कलर Uh, and I have four years of teaching experience. I am uh, currently taking basic thermodynamics, basic thermodynamics on plus in our mission batch that we have started on first June. Okay, so I am taking basic thermodynamics and I have uh, covered up to control volume analysis there. And this is our team who will be uh, teaching you in that full fledged batch, full fledged batch. Mohit Gupta, can you give your email ID? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, you can connect with, uh, you can uh, get connected with me on my Facebook profile. Uh, please search Viresh Kumar instead of Viresh Manocha. Please do not send me friend friend request on Viresh Manocha because uh, I use that ID not much. I mean, uh, I use this Viresh Kumar wale ID zada use karta hoon. So I don't use that uh, Viresh Manocha wale ID that much. Uh, Un Academy, you can follow me on Un Academy and send me the messages there. Or if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. For Facebook profile, any kind of doubt, any kind of doubt regarding to your career or uh, any problem in your life that you want to share, anything, and I'm available for you on Facebook, on Un Academy, Instagram. And if any one of your friends wants to buy the Un Academy subscription, this is my code Virash Ten. for uh, personal guidance okay i'll guide you how to crack gate i'll uh, you know help you in making your time table i'll try to you know take your uh, uh, you know some kind of motivation motivation sessions there so for personal guidance you can uh, use my code virash10 okay and i'll help in, help you uh, you know in cracking gate and es Mohit Gupta, you can contact me here on my uh, Facebook profile. You can send me messages here. You can send me messages on Un Academy, Un Academy profile. Correct. Uh, my email ID, however, is uh, uh, this. Or you can send me messages here. We can then uh, decide whether to whether to whether to talk over uh, you know chat or we can talk over phone. But you have to ping me here on my Facebook profile. Or on my Un Academy profile, correct? I message you on Un Academy. Watch it. I'll watch it after this lecture. Yes, for sure. Don't worry. Okay. So for personal guidance, if you want the personal guidance, uh, and you want to come into plus, uh, Virash Ten is my code. Let's move on to the first question. Uh, this was the question that uh, I had given you in the assignment. Okay. So if you are not right, uh, just read out the question and try it. And also uh, do subscribe to Un Academy SSC JE channel. Uh, you know, we have set, started a dedicated channel for SSC JE preparation. So, so uh, if you want to prepare for SSC JE, do subscribe to Un Academy SSC JE. And if you want to again purchase this plus subscription, you can use my code Virest. Correct. So uh, this is the question. Read out the question. A fluid system undergoes a non-flow frictionless process. Let me change the color of the pen. Process following the pressure volume as this. So a relation between pressure and volume is given to you. Okay. 
and it is a non flow process correct where p is in bar now keep in mind that p here is in bar okay and v is in meter cube during the process the volume changes from 0.2 meter cube to 0.05 meter cube and the system rejects 200 kJ of heat determine the change in internal energy and enthalpy so a uh, change in internal energy okay uh, we can apply this is a closed system right this is given to you and pressure and volume relation is also given to you we can apply you know first law q is equal to delta u plus w correct so q is given to you that the system rejects 200 kJ of heat that means minus 200 kJ it rejects right change in internal energy this is what you have to find delta u plus w how can you find w how can you find w i told you that for a closed system w is equal to pdv okay and we encounter two types of questions either p is constant so we take p out of the integration and then solve the question okay or either there is a relation given to you between p and v and this is what is given to you here so what you have to do is you have to replace p by that relation okay w is equal to 10 by v plus 3 dv and integrate it from what v1 to v2 v1 is 0.2 meter cube 0.2 meter cube and v2 is 0.05 meter cube is it fine you can integrate it right very simple right w this is 10 ln v 0.2 to 0.05 plus 3v again 0.2 to 0.05 correct but here is a catch here is a catch pressure is given in bar you have to multiply this with 10 raised to the power 5 and then then only this will give you the answer in joule correct please be careful that the pressure here which is given is in bar okay not pascal so you have to multiply it with 10 to the power 5 to make it pascal and then you have to use the relation so that the work done that you get will be in joule is it fine that was a very important point very important part of this so you have to read carefully that in what units this relation has been given before using it in the expression in this expression is it fine is it clear so now you solve it and you do not forget this into 10 to the power 5 years okay 10 to the power 5 this will be in joules you have written this q in kilojoules okay so whatever you get work done let me tell you the value uh whatever you get the value in joules convert it in kilojoule okay whatever you get it in joule convert it in kilojoule because in first law you have put the value of q in kilojoule okay so w is coming out to be let me uh, tell you the answer it is uh, minus 1431.29 kilojoule okay so put this value here put this value here what you will get you will get delta u and uh, delta u is uh, let me tell you the answer again 1231.29 kJ this was an assignment problem for you you guys try it or not you have to try the problems which i give here how will i mean if you not if you will not try the problems your concepts will not be that strong okay practice you have to do a lot of practice okay what about change in enthalpy again a very important concept i have uh, told you always that enthalpy is what like internal energy enthalpy is a point function enthalpy is also a point function that means if it is a point function that means i can define it at a state i can define enthalpy at a state i can define it at state 1 and state 2 okay and enthalpy is what u plus pv so at state 1 h1 is equal to u1 plus p1 v1 correct and h2 is equal to u2 plus p2 v2 this i can write now i can you know enthalpy is a point function i can define it at a state jaise main internal energy ko 1 or 2 pe u1 u2 likh sakta hu waise hi i can write enthalpy also at 1 and 2 so h1 is equal to u1 plus p1 p1 v1 h2 is equal to u2 plus p2 v2 what you do is this is 2 this is 1 you subtract 2 you subtract 1 from 2 subtract uh you know 1 from 2 so this will be what h2 minus h1 
is equal to u2 minus u1 is what? Delta u that you have just found out plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1. Is it fine? So this is what you need delta h. Delta u is the value you have just found out which is 1 to 3 1 point 2 9. This is what? 1 to 3 1 point 2 9 kilojoule. Kilojoule. Okay. Try to work in SI units. Change it in joules. Why? I'll tell you later in this question only. So plus P2 V2 minus P1 V1. What is the pressure at state 2? Can you tell me? Yes, you can tell me because at state 2, the volume is given to you. That is 0 0.05 meter cube. You put this volume here, you will get P2. Simple. Let's calculate P2 and P1. P2 is 10 by V. V is 0 0.05. I guess this is the relation. 10 by 0 0.05 plus 3. Okay. You will get uh, P2 as uh, uh, this will be, I guess this is, uh, I don't have the answer of P2. You can calculate it, yes. Whatever you get, you will get it in bar. Please be careful. Okay. Similarly, you can calculate P1 and that will be 10 upon what was the initial volume? That was 0 0.2 meter cube. Put that here. 0 0.2 plus 3. So P1 will again be in bar. Whatever be the, whatever be the answer. Okay. Now in this relation when you have to put P2 and P1, you don't have to put that in bar. Please be careful. You have to put this in Pascal, Newton per meter square. Okay. So P2 is uh, whatever be the answer. Uh, let me check. Is it, uh, it's, it's 53 bar I guess. And this is 203 bar. I'm not sure but uh, you can check it out. Just check it out. Okay. So if it is 203 bar, what you have to do is you have to put 203 into 10 raised to the power 5. Okay. And if P1 is 53 bar, you have to put it 53 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. Now what is this V1? V1 is what? 0 0.2. Okay. And V2 is 0 0.05. Uh, let's take it 203 only. 203 into 10 to the power 5. When you solve it, uh, you will get delta H is equal to, I am um, directly writing the answer, that is 1186.29 kilo. I hope uh, this is clear to you. It was not a difficult question, but uh, uh, I mean, it was a 10 marks question. Conventional question, 10 marks. You have to solve 10, uh, you, you should solve conventional questions so that, you know, uh, actually these conventional questions build your concepts. So do not run away if I give conventional questions here. Yeah. Okay. Whenever I give conventional questions, you guys run away. I don't know why. I hope this is clear to you. I hope this is clear to you. Uh, clear. Okay. Okay. Uh, this was again a second question that I gave you for the assignment. So, uh, what does this uh, question say? Can you uh, just try it for one minute if you haven't tried? Do not assume gamma and r. Just a caution. Do not assume gamma and r you have to calculate them okay if you assumed gamma and r what what is the point of this question yeah cv is what r upon gamma minus one so do not assume gamma and r you have to calculate these values okay uh, just let me know in the comments and i'm seeing your comments Okay, let me do it for you. I mean, uh, let me do it for you then. So, mass is 0 0.5 kilogram of air at 200 degrees Celsius. Expands adiabatically to three times its original volume. So, it expands to three times its original volume. That is, V2 is what? 3 V1. And during the process, there is a fall in temperature. 220 degrees Celsius. Okay, so T1 was uh, 200 plus 273, that is 473 Kelvin, and T2 is now 293 Kelvin. Please be careful while while reading the question. Sometimes there is there is a fall in temperature by 20 degrees Celsius is also given. So whether it is given by or to, kindly check carefully. Do not commit this careless mistake. Okay, 
so it falls 220 degrees Celsius. That means 273 plus 20, that is 293 Kelvin. The work done during the process is 50 kilojoule. Okay, we know the adiabatic uh, work done uh, formula. Correct. You have to calculate Cp and C. Okay. So uh, in adiabatic process, we know that the relation between uh, temperature and volume is given by Tv raised to power gamma minus one is equal to constant. Correct. So T1 V1 raised to power gamma minus one is equal to T2 V2 raised to power gamma minus one. Very fine. T1 is what? 473 Kelvin. Right. T2 is what? T2 is 293 Kelvin. Correct. V2 is three times of V1 and this is V1. Gamma minus one. Okay. So this V1 and V1 gets cancelled out. And what you can do is take natural log. Take take natural log on both sides. You can find gamma here from this equation. Correct. I hope you are uh, you know this. I mean uh, you have to take natural log on both the sides and you can find out gamma right by using logarithmic properties. Okay. So gamma. What you get gamma is. Let me tell you the value of gamma. Gamma is uh, uh, 1.436. 1.436. It comes out to be 1.436. Is it fine? Correct. Now see the the second data that is given to you is the work done during the process is 50 kilojoule. The work done during the process is 50 kilojoule. It's an adiabatic process. So work done is what? P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon gamma minus 1. And also it is equal to MR T1 minus T2 upon gamma minus 1. Very nice. We'll use this equation. Why? Because we know T1 and we also know T2. Okay. So that is MR T1 minus T2 upon gamma minus 1. Is it fine? Very fine. So work done during the process is 50 kilojoules. So this is 50 into 10 to the power 3. If you won't write this 10 to the power 3, you will directly get R in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Okay. As I am writing this 10 to the power 3, I will be getting this R in joule per kilogram Kelvin. Okay. So uh, do not get confused with the units. Okay. So I am directly writing this 50. You work in SI units. You always work in SI units. Okay. You always try to work in SI units. 0.5 R T1 is what? T1 is 473 Kelvin minus T2 is 293 Kelvin and gamma you have just found out that is 1.436 minus 1. You will get R, the value of R and the value of R will be, let me tell you the value of R, 0.242 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. This is the value of R. So once you have R and gamma you can find Cp and Cv, correct? So what is the value of Cv in terms of R and gamma? Cv is R upon gamma minus 1. So that implies R is what 0 0.242 and gamma is 1.436, right? 436 minus 1. You will get Cv is equal to 0 0.555 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Correct? Similarly, Cp minus Cv is equal to R. Okay, and you have found out R, you have found out Cv, you will find out Cp. The value of Cp will be, uh, this will be, uh, the answer will be 0 0.798 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay. Those who are watching the session, do like the session. Mark your attendance, guys. That is your attendance. Next question for you. Solve this. Solve this question. I am uh, giving you two minutes. Very easy question, very very easy question, one mark question is there, this is this is a one mark question, give me the answer. Five hundred. I use that's a correct answer. Correct. See, it is a cyclic process, right? And in a cyclic 
process in a cycle summation of net heat and interaction is equal to summation of net work interaction correct i have told you this uh, we have studied this in the previous lectures okay so this is a uh, 3000 minus 1500 this is in kilojoule okay is equal to where is the work transfer during the process is a minus 1000 Plus 2000. Plus there is another work transfer. Let that be W. Solve this. You will get W is equal to uh, 500 kilojoule. Very simple one mark question. Fine. Let's move on to the next question. Solve this question. Come on. Tell me the answer. One mark question. One more minute. Try this question, yar. This problem solving session is just for you guys, yar. You have to try the question. One zero four point eight one kilopascal. Are you? You are correct. Yes, you are correct. The piston has to be in equilibrium. Why? If the piston will not be in equilibrium, it will keep on moving upwards or it will keep on moving downwards, and nothing is given to us. That means we have to assume that the piston is in equilibrium. Okay. So what it says is that the atmospheric pressure is zero point nine five bar. So this is atmospheric pressure. Okay. P ATM. I am drawing the FBD of the piston. FBD of piston. So P ATM into A. What is this A? A is the cross-sectional area of the piston, and that is given to you, right? Also, it is said that the piston has a mass of 40 kg. So this 40, 40 into 9.81. This is what mg acting downwards. Okay, and there will be a pressure inside the cylinder that will be pushing this piston upwards and that is what we have to find so that will be p gas into a correct so writing the equation p atm plus mg is equals to p gas into a correct atmospheric pressure is what 0.95 bar i always like to solve the question in si units so 0.95 Into 10 raised to the power 5 pascal into area. Uh, this eraser. Area is 0.04 meter square plus mg is 40 into 9.81 is equal to gas pressure. That is what you have to find. And what is the area again? 0.04 meter square. You solve it, you will get gas pressure. Is equal to uh, you'll get the pressure in pascals. I'm directly writing the value in kilopascal, and that is 104.81 kilopascal. Is it fine? Is it fine? Clear? Simple question. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, solve this question.
đúng không? Read the question carefully. In a piston cylinder arrangement, the pressure is inversely proportional to the square of volume. Try to try the question here. I mean. Question cut in right side. Okay. Uh, it is written that the initial pressure is 10 bar, the so that again the is cut. Nothing is missing. Ayush, uh, 55.157. It, it is the right answer, yes. Ayush, right answer, correct. Two minutes, two more minutes. Two to three more minutes for you guys. I will be taking steady flow energy question in the next lecture. And if you want to feel steady flow energy question, what is flow work? And you know, where where it is there in that steady flow energy equation you come to my you definitely come to my next lecture that will be on thursday i will be deriving steady flow energy equation okay you want to feel it if you want to feel it uh, then thursday's lecture is for you Two more minutes and then I will be solving this question for you. Rakesh. Rakesh 59 is not the correct answer. Uh, Ayush has given the right answer 55.1 or 2. Yeah. Kilojoule. You have committed some errors. I mean, I guess. Please recheck your solution. This is a very simple question, try it. PDV, you have to use this. Okay. And pressure is inversely proportional to the square of volume. Solve it, solve it, try it. One more minute and then I will be solving this question for you. Rakesh, Teja, Mohit, give me the answer guys. Tapas, Saurav. Okay, let me solve this for you now. 
calculation mistake now come 55 okay great uh, so you have also got the right answer Rakesh uh, please be careful that you uh, do not you know uh, commit silly mistakes these calculation mistakes try to avoid them because they can cost a lot in the exam years okay so uh, okay let us solve this question so this is what pv square is equal to constant I have replaced the proportionality sign with a constant. So this is my relation now. Okay, I have again told you that what you have to do is when whenever this kind of a relation or this kind of a relation is given, what you have to do is you have to replace p in terms of v and then you have to integrate. Correct? Correct. That implies work done is equal to integration from volume 1 v1 to v2 and this will be p is equal to c by v square. So this will be c by v square dv. Is it fine? Fine. You integrate it. W is equal to v1. Let me just rub it. This will be c v minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. Okay. v1 to v2. That implies minus of c by v. Correct. And what is V1? The initial volume is 0 0.1 meter cube. Okay. What is V2? V2, you don't know V2. How can you find out V2? By this relation. By this relation. Because initial pressure is 10 bar. Initial volume is given to you. Final pressure is also given to you. You can use this relation. Na? You can find what? You can find V2. Let us use this relation. PV square is equal to constant. So, 10 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal. I always like to work in SI units because there is less chance of error. Although I know that this 10 to the power 5 and this 10 to the power 5 on the right hand side, right hand side of the equation will get cancelled out. But still, I will write it. Make it a habit, okay? So this is a 10 bar initial volume is 0 0.1 meter cube, and this is square is equal to what is the final pressure? That is 2 bar, 2 into 10 to the power 5, and this is V2 square. Correct. This gets cancelled out. You will get V2 is equal to, let me tell you the value of V2. It's 0 0.2236 meter cube. Correct. Now you have V2 with you. That is 0 0.2236. 2236 meter cube. Okay. But you don't have the value of C. How can you find the value of C? Again from this equation, yeah. From this equation, PV square is equal to constant. Okay, so P is what 10 into 10 to the power 5. And if I'm using P1, I will be using V1. If I'm using P2, I will be using V2. Correct is equal to C. This is 10 to the power 4. So the value of C is 10 to the power 4. You put 10 to the power 4 here. Okay, and put the values of uh, volume that is final volume and initial volume, you will get the answer which will be equal to, you will get the work done which will be equal to 55.28 kilojoule. I am directly writing the answer in kilojoule, okay? I am directly writing the answer in kilojoule. Okay, move on to the next question. Solve this. Solve this question. What does the question say? Water is being heated in a closed pan while being stirred by a pedal wheel.
solve this question here. Very simple question. Very simple one mark question. Those who are watching the session, do mark your attendance, guys. Like the session. Solve this question. One mark question. I use 42.5 correct answer. You have got the correct answer. I use one more minute and then I will be solving this question for you. I use have you taken gate before? Have you taken it before? I don't try to take conventional questions on YouTube because whenever I take conventional questions, you guys run away. Yaar. I took conventional questions in the last session. You know, the questions that I gave you as an assignment. Took them in the last session. Number of students that were watching before were 15 when i took the conventional questions the students watching were 5 10 students ran away question session is for you yes yeah. are you trying Rakesh, 42.516. Why is it 42.516? It's exact 42.5, Rakesh. The answer is exactly 42.5. See how you do it. Uh, let me tell you. Water is being heated in a closed pan while being stirred by a pedal wheel. Okay, great. So, uh, let me draw this... Uh, Teja, yes, Teja, 42.5 is the right answer. Rakesh, 42.516. It should be 42.5 only. So, uh, what does it say? That water is being in a closed pan while being stirred by a pedal wheel. This is my pedal wheel. Okay. During the process, 40 kilojoule of heat is added to water. So, this I am adding 40 kilojoule of heat. Okay. And 8 kilojoule of heat is lost to surrounding air. So this is lost. So I will be taking it directly with a negative sign. Okay. Because this heat is being lost to surrounding air. And I have considered this closed pan as my system. Uh, let me change the color. Yeah. Okay. I have considered this closed pan as my system. Fine. Correct. The pedal wheel work amounts to 500 Newton meter, 500 Joule. Now, please be careful that every other data that has been given in this question is in kilo Joule and this pedal wheel work is in Joule. So whenever you are solving the question, either convert this in kilo Joule, that is 0 0.5 kilo Joule or convert other values in Joule. Okay, please be careful. Do not commit this mistake. Now, if the initial energy is 10 kilojoule, again this is in given. This is given in kilojoule. Then final energy will be. Then final, sorry, final energy will be. <coughs> okay. What you do is you uh, apply first law again, and uh, we have considered this pan as our system. Okay. So this is Q net is equal to delta U plus W net. Okay. Whatever the heat is entering or uh, you know it's losing, you have to write here in this part, right? So 40 kilojoule of heat is added to water. 40 is added. That is plus 40, and 8 is lost. So minus 8. This is in kilojoule. Okay. Delta U is what? U2 minus U1. 
this is how you can write delta u it is a point function right plus w net now the pedal wheel work amounts to 500 newton meter right this amounts to 500 joule that is 0 0.5 kilojoule but i have considered this pan as my system and the work is the uh, the work is being done on the system okay my work is being done on the system so this will be taken with a negative sign minus 0 0.5 Correct, U1 is what? Minus 0 0.5 kilojoule. Initial energy that is 10 kilojoule. Okay, you solve this, you'll get U2 is equal to 42.5 kilojoule. Hi Nippon, we are solving some questions. Uh, you're a bit late. You solve this one. Next question on your computer screens. Come on, solve the question. Very simple question. Do not get confused by this equation, okay? This enthalpy of oil, let me write the equation. H is equal to 1.68 T plus 10.5 into 10 per minus 4 T square. This is kilojoule per kilogram where T is in degree Celsius. This is the equation. This equation. Try the question. Very simple question. Yeah, it is a very simple question. Do not get afraid by this equation. Okay. Hi Vijayan. Hi. Try this question. Try this question. You have to try this question. Very simple question. Just perform the energy balance and you will get the answer. Those who are watching the session, kindly like the session, that is your attendance and try this question. I am giving you 4 to 5 minutes to solve this question. Try this question, come on, I want the answer. Anyone? Ayush has given an answer that is 1.242. Ayush, uh, this is not the right answer, Ayush. I guess you have uh, made a mistake, maybe some calculation mistake. Please recheck your answer. I'll be taking on steady flow energy equation in the next lecture. I will be deriving the equation. Those who want to feel it, Thursday's lecture is for you guys. I've already taken these these classes on Unacademy Plus here. We are moving ahead in that batch, that full-fledged batch that we have launched. And we'll be completing the syllabus by mid-November, I guess. Yeah. If you uh, plan on you know buying that subscription and you want to attend that full-fledged batch, you can contact me on my Facebook profile, Unacademy profile, and you can use this code. For the discount and 
for the personal guidance i'll guide you i'll help you in making your time table how to study this subject how to practice these much questions okay two more minutes two more minutes and then i will be solving this question for you very easy question i'll give you a hint i'll give you a hint i use uh, 1.28 i use this is not the correct answer yaar i use i don't know why you are not getting the correct answer this is not the right answer i use uh see what you have to do is in an oil cooler oil flows steadily through the bundle of metal tubes submerged in a steady stream of cooling water so oil is flowing and oil enters at 90 degrees celsius and leaves at 40 degrees celsius okay oil is flowing and also water is entering at 25 degrees celsius and leaves at 70 degrees celsius okay so oil is entering at some temperature leaving at some temperature water is entering at some temperature and leaving at some temperature enthalpy of oil this equation is given to you right and you know uh, inlet temperature and outlet temperature exit temperature of the oil is given to you so you can put that t here if you put inlet temperature in h what you'll get you'll get h1 that is specific enthalpy of oil at the inlet correct and similarly if you put this t here what you'll get you'll get the specific enthalpy of the oil at exit right and whatever the you know uh, whatever the heat they are exchanging they are you know exchanging uh, you know uh, in between them okay nothing is going out nothing is given about them so we have to assume that nothing is going out okay so i can write that whatever be the enthalpy change for oil will be the enthalpy change for water correct so this is what enthalpy change of oil will be or basically see it is given the cooling water required for cooling 2.7 kg per second of oil so if i will be writing m dot this should be rate of enthalpy change of oil is equal to rate of enthalpy change of water just the rate of energy conservation okay so this is m dot h2 minus h1 let this be h2 and uh, let this be h1 okay is equal to m dot water this is m dot oil m dot water and uh, i use 1.34 <laughs> i use no it's not 1.34 it's uh, 1.6 kg per second see what will be the rate of enthalpy change of water that will be m dot w, w cp delta t cp delta t and uh, what is the cp of water that we know yaar that is 4.18 kJ per kg kelvin correct so you put the values here you put the values here m dot oil you have to find uh, the cooling water required so the mass flow rate of oil is given to you that is 2.78 kg per second so 2.78 kg per second h2 is what 1.68 t2 plus 10.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 t2 square okay h2 is 1.68 t2 plus 10.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 t2 square let's find h1 is 1.68 t1 plus 10.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 t1 square okay T1 is 90 degrees Celsius. T2 is 40 degrees Celsius. You put T1, you'll get H1. You put T2, you'll get H2. Okay. This will be what 1.68 T1 minus T2 or T2 minus T1. T2 minus T1 plus 10.5 into 10 to the power minus 4. This will be T2 square minus T1 square. Or it will be H1 minus H2. Why? why because the oil temperature is decreasing the oil temperature is decreasing that means it is losing heat so this will be h1 minus h2 this will be t1 minus t2 this will be t1 square minus t2 square okay and m dot w you have to find out cp is 4.18 into 10 raised to the power 3 joule per kilogram kelvin if 
you are solving in SI units, you also have to convert this in joule per kilogram because this is in kilojoule per kilogram. Leave it. Do not write it in. Do not write it in joule per kilogram. Let it be in kilojoule per kilogram. Okay. So uh, this is uh, 70 minus 25. That is 45. Delta T of water. I hope uh, I'm not solving this question a bit too fast. I mean, if you're not getting it, I can solve this question. Solve this question very slowly. Okay. This is the equation for you, yeah. You have to solve this equation, and you'll get m dot w. And uh, m dot w is 1.6 kilogram per second. Uh, did you understand this, or should I solve this question slowly? See, I'm again explaining you this question. I'm again explaining this you this question. This is the concept. I have done this way. I am getting 1.34. Uh, 1 1.6 is the answer, yes. 1.6 is the answer. Solve, sir. Uh, Rohan, I didn't get it. I mean, you have solved the you have solved the question, or I should solve it again. Please tell me. I think I solved this question a bit fast. Should I solve this question again, Ruben? I use uh, 1.6 is the answer with me here. Yeah? See what I told is what I told you is that the rate of enthalpy change of oil will be rate of enthalpy change of water very simple because they are exchanging heat because they are the only fluids that are flowing correct so delta h dot i not understood sir okay okay Rohan. i will tell you again you went fast uh, what, that is what i was thinking okay uh, let me solve this question again for you guys okay just a minute. Let me rub this. We'll solve this question again and we'll solve this question slowly. I've checked again. It's coming 1.34. I don't know. Uh, I will check it then. I, use, I will check it then and we'll update uh, you the answer in the next class if it's not 1.6. Okay. I'll check it. Don't worry, but this is the method. Uh, if you have solved this question, I used you try the next question. Uh, this is the next question. You can click the pick or you can just stop the video and you try this next question. And uh, I will be solving the previous one. Okay. I used that question was for you. Okay, see Rohan, what is this question saying? It says that in an oil cooler, oil flows steadily through the bundle of metal tubes submerged in a steady stream of cooling water. So, oil is flowing in the tubes, okay, and the tubes are submerged in water. That means, water is in four sides, okay, in metal tubes, what is in four sides? In four sides, what do you say? सर्कुलर हर तरफ क्या है वाटर है ओके okay? और उसने बोला है द ऑयल एंटर्स एट 90 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड लीव्स एट 40 डिग्री सेल्सियस तो ऑयल 90 पे आया 40 पे चला गया ठीक है ओ वाटर जो है वो 25 पे आ रहा है वाटर इज कमिंग एट 25 एंड लीव्स एट 70 डिग्री सेल्सियस फाइन दैट मींस ऑयल का जो टेंपरेचर है वो कम हो रहा है और वाटर का जो टेंपरेचर है वो बढ़ रहा है ओके वी गेटिंग इट दैट मींस ऑयल इज गिविंग यू नो एनर्जी वाटर बिल्कुल सही सही है ऑयल क्या हो रहा है ठंडा हो रहा है एंड वाटर वाटर इज गेटिंग हीटेड अप ओके एंड यू हैव बीन गिवन एन इक्वेशन दैट इज द एंथैल्पी ऑफ ऑयल एंथैल्पी ऑफ ऑयल दैट इज स्पेसिफिक एंथैल्पी ऑफ ऑयल इज इक्वल टू 1.68 टी प्लस 10.5 10 टू 10 पावर -4 टी स्क्वायर किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम ओके 
तो अभी अगर इफ आई पुट टी वन इन दिस इक्वेशन टी वन इन दिस इक्वेशन तो आई विल गेट द इनिशियल स्पेसिफिक एंथेल्पी ऑफ ऑयल जिससे वो एंटर कर रहा है सो एच वन विल बी वॉट वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट नाइनटीन प्लस टेन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन पर माइनस फोर एंड दिस विल बी नाइनटी स्कूल ठीक है बिकॉज इट इज गिवन दैट टेम्परेचर इज इन डिग्री सेल्सियस तो डिग्री सेल्सियस में ही डालना है यू डो नॉट है चेंज इट इट कैलविन फाइन यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एच वन दैट विल बी इन किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम ओके यू सॉल्व दिस टेल मी दी आंसर यू टेल मी दी आंसर बाई सॉल्विंग दिस इन कैलकुलेटर ओके सिमिलरली एच टू क्या होगा अब ऑयल का जो एग्जिट टेम्परेचर है दैट इज फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस तो एग्जिट पे ऑयल के पास कितनी एंथेल्पी है that i also can find by using this equation because enthalpy of oil is given by this equation so that will be 1.68 40 plus 10.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 40 square correct so this will be also in kilojoule per kilogram you will get the values tell me the values of h1 and h2 i use uh, 2.639 and हाँ इन टर्म्स ऑफ गामा बताना है आयुष इन टर्म्स ऑफ गामा बताना है आयुष एंड तेजा इन टर्म्स ऑफ गामा करेक्ट करेक्ट आयुष एंड तेजा इन टर्म्स ऑफ गामा बताना है या मुझे ये बताओ किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम कितना आया बिकॉज आई डायरेक्टली सॉल्व डेट यार मैंने ऐसे वैल्यू पुट नहीं किया था मैंने डायरेक्टली फाइनल इक्वेशन लिखा उसमें डाल के सॉल्व कर दिया ठीक है जो भी है If diatomic 2.639, uh, Ayush, you uh, tell me the answer in uh, Ayush and Teja, tell me the answer in terms of gamma, okay? Teja, 2 raised to the power 1 minus gamma. No, it's 2 raised to the power gamma minus 1. It is 2 raised to the power gamma minus 1. Okay. So uh, you have H1 and H2 with you now. That means you have the change in specific enthalpy. Change in specific enthalpy. Although change in specific enthalpy is written by H2 minus H1, but मेरे को energy balance लगाना है, तो मैं negative positive sign अभी कुछ ध्यान में रख रहा हूँ. Simple ये बता रहा हूँ कि जो भी enthalpy change oil का होगा, that will be equal to enthalpy change of water. Simple, because वही दो fluid flow कर रहे हैं. ठीक है? Sir, what about fifth lecture of thermodynamics? There is no fifth lecture in the series of lectures. अरे एक्चुअली दैट सिक्स लेक्चर इज द फिफ्थ लेक्चर सो पोस्टर में कुछ गलत हो गया था वो दैट सिक्स लेक्चर इज द फिफ्थ लेक्चर एक्चुअली ओके आई विल बी टेकिंग स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो दिस इज स्पेसिफिक एंथेल्पी चेंज ऑफ ऑयल ठीक है तो हमें क्या कह रहा था कि ऑयल है पानी है ऑयल ठंडा हो रहा है पानी का टेम्परेचर बढ़ रहा है ओके okay? And I am assuming कि कोई भी heat wind बाहर नहीं जा रही है, because nothing is given, so I am assume, I, I am assuming it, okay? So I can write that rate of enthalpy change of oil is equal to rate of enthalpy change of water, ठीक है? अभी rate of enthalpy change of water का equation क्या होता है? M dot W, C P delta T, correct? Correct? M dot W तो मैं निकालना है. CP of water is 4.18 kJ per kg Kelvin. Let it be in kJ per kg Kelvin. Why? Because जो भी ये value आ रही है H1S2 की वो kJ per kg में आ रही है. ठीक है. अभी delta T क्या है? Delta T क्या है? पानी अंदर आ रहा है 25 degree Celsius से. बाहर जा रहा है 70 degree Celsius से. तो 70 minus 25 कितना हो गया? 45 degree Celsius temperature change हो जाएगा. Correct? ये तो हो गया rate of enthalpy change of water. What about rate of enthalpy change of oil? M dot oil into H1 minus H2. ये क्या था specific enthalpy change. That is per unit mass or per unit mass flow rate. ठीक है? अगर मुझे total rate of enthalpy change निकालना है तो मैं M dot से multiply कर दूँगा. Simple. ठीक है? तो इन दोनों को equate कर दो. M dot oil कितना दे रखा है? 2.78 किलोग्राम पर सेकेंड. 2.78. H1 minus H2 की value आ जाएगी यहाँ से. You'll get the value of H1 and H2. Correct? You'll get the value of H1 and H2. Is equal to M dot W 4.1845. And when you will solve it, you will get the uh, value of this, uh, uh, you know, rate of uh, 
flow of this cooling water that will be 1.6 kg per second. However, Ayush is saying that the answer is 1.3 IL. So I will, uh, you know, check it. I'll check the answer. I'll solve the question and I'll let you know the correct answer in the next question. Oh, sorry, in the next lecture. Okay. Okay. Let us move on to the next question. If you still have doubt, you can message me on my uh, Facebook profile. Have you guys uh, solved this? Uh, the answer is 2 raised to power gamma minus 1. Yes, this is the answer. This is the answer. Teja, Ayush, did you get the right answer? Teja and Ayush, Rakesh. This is uh, an easy question again. What is the question saying? Read out the question. Giving you one minute to solve this question. So it says that consider two containers A and B containing identical gases at the same identical gases at the same pressure, volume and temperature. Correct. The gas in container A is compressed to half to of its original volume isothermally in the container A. While the gas in container B is compressed to half of its original volume adiabatically. Correct. In container B, it is compressed to half of its original volume, but it is compressed adiabatically. The ratio of the final pressure of gas in B to gas in A, that is what you find. Okay. So for isothermal process, I know that PV is equal to constant. Correct. Let initial pressure is P1 and final pressure is P2. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Correct. The gas in container A is compressed to half of its original volume. So V2 is V1 by 2. Very nice. So P1 V1 is equal to P2 V1 by 2. This V1 V1 gets cancelled out and uh, P2 is equal to twice P1. In case of uh, isothermal process P2 I. Okay. Let us solve this for uh, adiabatic process. Adiabatic process. In case of adiabatic process, what we know is PV raised to the power what, what do you know? What is the equation? PV raised to power gamma is equal to constant. Right? PV raised to power gamma is equal to constant. Now you try the question. Are you getting the answer? I'll have to check the answer for this question as well. I'll have to check the answer for this question as well. Try it. You're getting 2 raised to power gamma minus 1. It is the correct. Is it the correct answer? One more minute. 2 raised to power gamma minus 1. You are getting the answer. Okay. See, how will you do this question? Uh, see, uh, this is P1 V1 raised to power gamma is equal to P2 V2 raised to power gamma. Correct? So, P1 is same. See, 
says that uh, the containers A and B containing the identical gases at the same pressure. So initial pressure is same in both the containers. So it is P1 and uh, V1 is also same. V1 is to have gamma is equal to P2 is what you have to find in case of adiabatic process uh, that is being done in container B. Okay. And V2. V2 is what? That is V1 by 2. It is again compressed to half of its original volume adiabatic. Correct. So in this case, in this case, P2 will be this V1 is for gamma and V1 is for gamma gets cancelled out. And P2 adiabatic is 2 raised to power gamma V1. Correct. So when you take the ratio, this is 1, this is 2. So take the ratio 2 by 1. What you get? You get 2 raised to power gamma minus 2. Fine. Teja, I, I think that you, uh, you uh, initially took the ratio of A by B. That is how you, uh, you know, got this answer. Firstly, 2 raised to power 1 minus gamma. So it was asked that the ratio of final pressure of gas in B to A. So you have to take the ratio of 2 by 1. That is how you will get 2 raised to power gamma minus 1. That is the correct answer. Yeah. Okay, next question. Uh, let this be, let this question be assignment for you. Assignment. Try this question, try this question, uh, please try this question, this problem solving sessions were for you guys, please try these questions. If you won't practice, it will be very difficult for you to get a good rank in gate. Okay. And these are all, you know, gate related questions. I haven't taken any conventional questions in this class uh, because I told you the problem. So let us, you know solve easy questions first and then we will be moving on to the conventional questions. So this is an assignment problem for you. Solve the video, take the photo or whatever you want to do. You have to do this question, we will be discussing this, uh, this in the next class. Okay, so well, guys, if you want to take Khan Academy Plus subscription, uh, what are the benefits? Better interface, first of all, better interface. I have to read your comments over my phone here. I cannot read your comments simultaneously on the screen. So some of your doubts may get missed. So better interface on Unacademy plus subscription and we have started full fledged batches. Full fledged batches in which all the subjects will be covered in detail for GATE and ESC 2021. The name of our batches are mission batches. We have started one batch in English that is that was started on 1st May and one batch in Hindi that was started on 1st June. I am taking basic thermodynamics, basic thermo on plus from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. I am taking 15 hours a week on plus, 15 hours a week on plus and I will be completing basic thermodynamics uh, by 8th of July. Okay. Also, Material science is going on in our batch in the morning and engineering mechanics is also going on in our batch from 8.30 to uh, you know 10 p.m. This is the name of the batch, mission, mission batch. Okay. So if you, if you want to join uh, an academy plus subscription, uh, you can use my code village 10 and you will get instant 10% discount. Also, when we will be completing your syllabus, we will be starting with the crash course. That is the revision course for you guys. Revision course for you guys. Okay. And that is also included in this subscription. We have started RIB from 15th June. What is this RIB? RIB is rank improvement batch. Rank improvement batch in which we will be dealing with the questions only. And 2500 to 3000 questions will be solved in total. Okay. So these are a lot of questions here, a lot of questions. Okay, every fourth class is a doubt clearing session. So every doubt of yours get answered there. And also we conduct weekly quizzes and uh, tests with leaderboard so that you can uh, uh, compare yourself with other uh, students who are competing for this exam. 
next is uh, this is the name of our batch mission batch okay do not forget the name mission batch see uh, every fourth class is a doubt clearing session every fourth class is a doubt clearing session and uh, this is the interface see i will be able to read your comments your doubts over here this is where you can see me and this is our whiteboard where i'll be teaching you so much better interface as compared to youtube much better interface as compared to youtube how can you uh, you know buy this subscription you can go to the unacademy website or unacademy app select your goal as get an esc and click on get subscription after clicking on get subscription these are the plans that you can choose from but one year and two year plans are actually quite valuable see you will get you will be getting one month plan in 5000 and you will be getting 20 uh, you know 12 months plan is 12 months plan in 25000 25000 and 24 months plan in 30000 and after discount this will be getting in 22500 and this will be getting in 27000 this two year plan two year and one year plan okay so these are actually valuable for money and you can watch any faculties lectures and uh, any number of times okay so all the syllabus will be completed uh, revision course is there and weekly tests and weekly quizzes are there for you and a much better interface to interact with you guys so you can apply my code videsh10 for 10% discount okay and i'll be there for you to personally guide you to on how to crack gate and esc you can select the emi option on uh, credit cards and uh, if you have a hdfc debit card you can use an emi option on this hdfc debit card as well but this option is only valid for hdfc debit card okay You can use my code Videsh10 for 10% discount. This is our Facebook group for doubt solving. We have hired interns for uh, doubt solving. Whatever be your doubt, you post it here and it will be solved as soon as possible. This is our tele Telegram group. For what? For uh, daily quizzes. that we post over here daily quizzes and information on our lectures information on our lectures on our special classes information on for for these youtube classes and for special classes okay and also for the study material you have you can join our telegram group that is an academy gate in this is the link for that next uh for any kind of problem any kind of career counseling any kind of problem you can connect me uh, you you can get connected with me on my facebook profile okay you can message me on my facebook profile you can message me on my an academy profile or instagram profile wherever you want to message me uh, you can uh, message me your problem any problem any doubt regarding your gate preparation your esc preparation any career counseling that you need any career counseling that you need okay any other problem that you are dealing with uh, any emotional problem or any personal problem that you are you know you can just share it with me and i will try my best to solve that problem with you or oh, sorry to solve your problem i'll try my best to solve your problem and uh, you can you know message me here and uh, you can follow me on an academy for my free special classes i am going to start logical reasoning free special classes logical reasoning and we'll be dealing with 20 25 questions in every class and i'm going to take 10 special classes like that so we'll be uh, solving 200 to 250 questions of lr in these uh, free special classes you can follow me on an academy for that for special classes and for my courses i'm taking basic thermodynamics on uh, plus okay you can follow me for that and also you can follow me on instagram if you want or if you like right 
so uh, these are my details where you can uh, you know you can get connected with me and uh, you can share any kind of problem here any kind of problem and uh, be sure that you won't be judged i'll try my best to help you whatever be the problem okay so this was uh, uh, you know this was it for today's class i'll be taking sfe steady flow energy equation i will be deriving this equation in the next class if you want to feel steady flow en energy equation see you on thursday 6 pm okay you will uh, feel this steady flow energy equation you will feel what flow work is okay you have always heard you always uh, heard about the term flow work what is that flow work you will learn it in the next class thursday 6 pm okay see you guys on thursday 6 pm do not forget this uh, discount code viresh 10 if any of your friends want to buy the an academy subscription whether it is for gate esc or sscj or whatever course you can contact me on facebook and you can call, uh, you, you can use my code that is viresh 10 for 10% instant off okay then see you on uh, thursday with steady flow energy equation bye bye take care